What's up guys over top here. In this video we're going to be doing testnet activities for the Entangle protocol. As usual all links are going to be in description but follow them at your own risk. First of all what is Entangle? That's interoperability layer which goal is to improve omnichain liquidity. Regarding finding there was one private round from the information that I found no numbers mentioned. Here first of all we're going to do testnet activities. Then we're gonna dive into socials, campaigns on Galaxy and the ambassador campaign. And we're gonna start with the testnet. You can do all of these activities straight from their website. First, we're gonna connect the wallet. Also forgot to mention that error drop here is confirmed pretty much. Here it states participants of the Entangle incentivized testnet will receive NGL airdrop at a future date. Airdrop will be weighted towards more active users and community members. So airdrop is confirmed. 3% of the tokenomics is allocated to the airdrop. However, obviously from just doing testnet activities, there is no guarantee that you will become eligible. So the faucet link takes us to the Discord. There is a channel faucets. And suppose we need to click verify says please check DM. There is a DM from Entangle verification bot. Says please send us your wallet address. So we copy that and just send it to the bot. It sends that they send some tokens to the wallet. Here we can also add Entangle to our MetaMask by switching to it. Entangle testnet. We got 10 NGL. Next task is to delegate. We got three active validators here. Select one of these. And I'll do one NGL. Okay, token delegation successful. And now let's go ahead and undelegate some of that. We need to also select the validator first. And I'll, go, I'll do 50%. Great. Delegating is the only functionality uh, on the Entangle. Uh, all other features we need to do on the supported chains. As you can see, there are currently seven chains. And in theory, over time, if you plan to do uh, testnet activities here, from time to time, you can just switch chains basically. So what we're gonna do today on one chain, you can then repeat on another chain and so on. For example, you going back every couple of weeks maybe to do more activities uh, on Entangle, I would recommend just switching chain and doing that on another chain. Obviously we'll need to add the network first. Here I will be using Polygon. The name is going to be ENT Polygon Testnet. I'm just copying everything from the document. Chain ID 137. Okay, that should do it. Now we can switch. And on the Discord, there is a contract address for USDC that you got from the faucet and you can import that as well. Import tokens. USDC. All right, we got thousand. Good. Okay, now making sure that we are on Polygon, we can go to exchange. Here, obviously, we're going to select the liquid pool for our chain. In my case, it's going to be Polygon. We got a thousand, let's do a hundred. Now we'll still approve max. Okay, now we can buy. Okay, success. Okay. 
Okay, so I did that twice for 200 total. And we can also click here to copy uh, synthetic asset address. And we can add that to the MetaMask. Mat synth. Okay. All right, we got some synthetics. And also let's withdraw some of that. Click in cell here. And we're gonna get our USDC back. All right, so that would be exchange. Now let's try to stake. Wait, what? Stake existing LPs to composable LSDs. USDT. Somehow we have 34K USDT LPs. Okay. Let's try to do 5K USDTs, for example. Why is default a thousand? I put five thousand. This is very confusing. What about five hundred? Thousand. Is this like predetermined value that is supposed to be a thousand? I've never seen that. Usually default value is the exact value that you're trying to approve. So if I approve 100 tokens, for example, the default value is gonna be 100 tokens. Here, regardless of how many tokens I'm trying to approve, the default value is 1000. So I'm thinking you can potentially set it up like manually. I actually didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, but okay, let's try to do 5000. Okay, now we can stake. Okay, it correctly detects the LPs, that the LPs went down by 5K. We can also add this to our MetaMask. Okay, this is some SS gut. Was it zero? Ah, it's not zero, it's just very small amount. Okay, let's try to unstake now. It also correctly detects the amount. I'll again just do like half, all right. Why is staking was like 0 0.03 Matic and then unstaking is a hundred times that. This is super weird. Okay, let's try to do this again. Max. Yeah, it seems like this is a normal guess for this, for this type of transaction. So whatever, I'll just go through with this. But this is kind of crazy. I don't I don't understand why it has to be so high. Okay, our balance detects here correctly and here correctly as well. So staking is tested. Okay, next one is transfer. We need to transfer our LSD assets cross chain. That's cool. It's not detecting. I thought th it would be detectable. Okay, we got SS good. This one. There you go. Well, it should definitely be detectable. Like, 
it's again super inconvenient. If you have some tokens, it should be detected here. So if, if you, for example, got as, as good on uh, Arbitrum, let's say, I would expect that if I am connected to the correct chain, to the correct RPC, then it's going to detect my tokens and it's going to be the top row. But I guess we're pretty early in the test now, so it's fine. Okay, let's move it to Avalanche. Okay, so it still shows 2.4 for a balance. I'll try to refresh and see if that detects correctly. Yeah, 1.2 and the other 1.2 is was sent. Okay, so as far as I understand, these are all testnet activities on chain that we can currently do. Again, if you want to maximize your activity here, use all of the available chains. Okay, now let's move on to the off chain stuff. First of all, obviously, follow on Twitter, join the discord. Well, by then, if you use the faucet, you already joined the discord. Next, Guild XYZ, you can get three roles here, Member, Entangler, and Entangle on Twitter for just basically uh, following the Twitter and joining the Discord. Then we got Galaxy Campaigns. These are very simple as well. So visit the website, it's going to be visit website, get 10 points, Entangle on Twitter, there is one campaign active, you just follow or retweet, I don't remember, get 10 points, read white paper against socials and the quiz, I haven't taken the quiz yet, but I will put answers in the description. Then we got Discorded Entanglement, this is basically your level on the Discord that you get usually from chatting. So for every milestone, you get one quest completed and you unlock the next one. And then Entangle Elite quests, these are connected to Ambassador program. And we're going to talk a little bit about that one. You can find all information regarding this program in this channel, Entangle Elite. And you can use this link to read more about the program. Basically how it works now, I'm saying now because it's pretty early, they're probably going to change the rules if you're watching this video in like three months but currently every season lasts for 15 days and it starts either on the first of month or 15th of month and it takes place in the form of competition but competition is not solo it's team competition every team consists of five people if you want to be a captain you need to find four other people who's gonna be on your team or if you don't want to be a captain, you're going to find a team and join it. Every team has to be five people. If you're not five people, you're not going to be taken into account. And you need to assemble your team before season starts. And also you must know all team members before you apply uh, for the next season. And again, more information you can find on this article. So what criteria are used to determine which teams are going to occupy top spots? This is basically content, then using testnet, providing the feedback, discord, chatting there, leveling, inviting people, then some designs, infographics, memes. But if you scroll down a little bit, that's a different distribution. Uh, also taking account the galaxy, but there's not much currently on galaxy. So I assume this again, discord related and regarding prizes, every season has its prize pool. First place team got 750 USD, so that's 150 for each team member. They can join on Discord community MAs, uh, get airdrop whitelists, NFT whitelists, and the first place Discord role. Now regarding airdrop whitelist, as far as I understand, this basically means that you're gonna be guaranteed the airdrop when it happens. Because as we already discussed in the beginning of the video, if you simply do testnet, you're not guaranteed to get anything. Second and third places gonna get 500 and 250 respectively for the whole team. And also airdrop whitelists, uh, respective roles and NFT whitelists. And then specifically to Discord portion of the competition, top five performing teams uh, gonna get airdrop whitelist. So we're currently in the second season. Third season will start, I believe, on 15th of August if you want to participate. But again, you will need to 
be a part of team prior to that i believe the 14th of august is going to be the deadline for registration and regarding the number of participants i'm not sure because i can't find it now i think i saw like 195 teams were participating so a lot definitely but nevertheless if you do want participate and if you don't have five people to participate with you can go to find elite channel and basically chat with people and try to assemble the team or join the team it's basically it can all be found here that's all i wanted to cover here if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them down below if you found video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time